What's up, you guys? It's your boy Mark. I know it's been a minute since I've recorded anything, but trust me, uh, I'm going to try to get some more content out there, especially with the remainder of my summer break still flowing on right now. Um, so this video is going to be just real quick, real easy. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about why I like to ride Crux trucks. Yes, Crux, K-R-U-X, trucks. And why is it so hard for me to switch to another truck brand? Please like, share, subscribe. Let's go. So, <clears throat> I've, I've been skating so many different trucks uh, throughout my, what, 16 years now of skateboarding. And I can tell you, man, it's so hard to go back to some of these things, right? Like, when I first started skating, I, I skated only Ventures. I would only skate Venture Lows, and that was it, right? Then, I think... <laughs> I went from skating ventures to skating indie lows. Indie made a low, y'all. Some of y'all might be too young to know that indie made a low, but indie made a low. That thing was like 48.5 milliliters to the ground. Like, that thing was, it was really low. Um, and then out of nowhere again, I started riding thunders. Then I went back to ventures. Then I went back to indies. I think, yeah. And then... <laughs> I went to Thieves, and then after that, after the Thieves, I then went on to Ryan Crux, and from there on out, like, that was the one year, that was like 2012, when I just started snapping, like, all my tricks were, like, going great, my heel flows were at its best, I was very healing, front healing, every trick I wanted to do came out, um, even, I was even landing kickflips, which is, like, my kryptonite, and I was landing those tricks. So, I think about it, and I reflect, and I'm just like, is it because I was riding Crux, or what was it? Was it the setups? I think it's a combination of all those things. And after a while, I just got so comfortable riding Crux trucks. Like, Crux trucks was just arriving at skate shops. I would just get whatever pair I can grab. You know, at this time, Crux had, like, so many different cool versions of their trucks. They had the mirror finished ones. They had forged base plates. Uh... uh how Axe, no, how Kingpin, they had the Mahalos. Everything that Crux was doing was like firing all cylinders, at least to me. And I feel like I had found my truck. Like, I was riding a set of Crux for, oof, like three, four years or something like that. Then uh, I graduated from school, graduated from undergrad, went off to grad school in, up in central New York. Came back home because that, it, it, let's just say that wasn't working out for me, okay? Came back home. Next thing you know, one night on my, on my way back home from my friend's crib, a car, it was like a, man, it was like a Suburban. Speeding. I was, the, I was facing the opposite direction. That's all I always do. And that thing ran over my board. That thing tried to run me over, ran over my board. My crux axles were bent. It was done. So I, was, I started riding indies. I rode indies for four years, man. Like literally during the pandemic, my indies gave out. The axle, the axles on my uh, on my indies was like, yeah, we can't put the bolt on no more, my brother. I was like, dang, all right. So I started experimenting again. I was like, oh, let me try these ventures. No, they ain't feel right. Got the crux again. Once again, felt correct. And so I try. I, I find myself. I'm not gonna lie to y'all fronting on crux trucks i just find myself fronting on them i don't know what it is i don't know why i'm on front i think it's because me being from the philly area people everybody everyone's riding ventures now pretty much everyone's riding ventures shout out to jamir for for being on there and, and getting that going but everybody's like wanting to ride them things and every time i get on ventures i'm just like this don't feel Right, this feel weird. This doesn't feel like I should be on these right now, man. So, even right now, I'm looking at a pair of Ventures. They get my board this out with Crocs on them. And at that, like, I, it's funny because I even switched Crocs sizes. I was riding the 8-inch Crocs, but now I'm riding the 825 Crocs on the 8.125 board. And it feels amazing. I don't know, man. Maybe it's me. But... I gotta stop this. I gotta stop the fronting. I gotta stop pretending like I got I got truck madness. I don't. I don't have truck madness. I have. 
have, I have I, I'm fronting. That's it. I'm just fronting on. I'm just fronting on crux, man. So if anyone out there on the internet is wondering, man, who out here riding crux trucks? Like, come on, who out here riding crux trucks? I am. I am. I'm riding crux trucks, y'all. It's it's a me, Markio, riding crux trucks. Um, they turn the way I want to, I want trucks to turn. They grind the way I want trucks to grind. Uh, they sound how I want them to sound with a crisp snap sound. <sighs> they just do everything I want. I want a truck brand to do. The only thing I wish trucks did, I wish they would bring back the. Uh, the the dome shape down little kingpin that was hollow. I want them to come out with a forged base plate again. Even if they don't want to want to do the hollow kingpin thing, or even hollow axles, get a forged base plate. I think that'd be dope. Same same base plate design with the wave, but make it forged so that it's closer to the board. You know, a little lower. But other than that, I love Crux Trucks, man, so. Just wanted to put that out there. I love Crux Trucks, man. Please like, share, subscribe. I got more videos that I'm trying to do. You know, all my videos are raw. There's no, uh, there's no editing this stuff. There's no script. I just go right off the cuff off my brain. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace.